Hey, hello everyone. Tonight we're going to go flying. So we're going to do a quick overview of how I go about making sure that my paramotor is going to fly excellent tonight. Uh, first thing first is I uh, check to make sure that all of my bolts that keep my prop on are tight. This thing is is tight and it's still tight, which is Turn good. The prop and make sure that I don't have any new dings or dents or cracks or anything. And as I'm doing that, I'm also looking at my belt to make sure that there's no fray. And so far, so good. I'm double checking to make sure that all of my bolts and motor mounts are good and not cracked. And that is good so far. I'm double checking to make sure that this is uh, screwed in too and nothing is backed out. My springs are nice and tight and they are wired in. Double checking to make sure everything is nice and zip tied still. And uh, Velcroed is all good. Now I already went over this, but I'm just showing you what I've done. I've already gone all the way through. I make sure that this is on uh, nice and uh, nothing is frayed. I've already gone through this also, but I'm double checking with you on the horn here. Also make sure that this thing moves freely and you can see the carburetor back there. I wonder if I can zoom in and you can see that it moves completely free back and forth, which is exactly what I want. The carabiners, I make sure that they clip and they lock. And double check to make sure that nothing is ripped. Can you imagine this thing ripping and you floating around like that? I, I do not want that experience at all and double checking to make sure that is good. All right, so there we go. We have pre-flighted everything. And of course, the biggest thing you wanna make sure is that this is on tight. That would suck. I've seen and heard too many stories about that. Uh, double checking the bolts too. They have not moved on the head. And also, I don't see any oil leaking anywhere, which is really good. It means that all my seals are, 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 are awesome. So there we go, pre-flight, let's go fly. Frames are not that heavy. Um, easy to put on your back, but definitely more padding would definitely be so much better. Or it is cold. Now, I want you to take a look at this guy taking off. Look at how slow he is going. We only go about 25 miles an hour. Unless you use speed bar, you can definitely go faster. Mm. Now, everybody has their own little pre-flight. I go from my toes up to my head as I'm pre-flighting, and I pre-flight myself. Make sure I got my boots on and they're tied. I go up, make sure I don't have any buckles that could catch a line or something. All the way up, make sure I don't have anything that could fly off, so no scarves, nothing that could fly into the prop. Um, and make sure I'm all buttoned up, and then go up to the helmet and make sure that I'm, I'm buckled in. Then I sit down into my seat, which is really nice. This thing comes up between my legs and I buckle in. And when I buckle in, I make sure that these uh, lines are not twisted. And the same thing on this side. I make sure that my, uh, my throttle can go all the way like this. And I double check back there. It's already pre-warmed. And also I have my wing laid out in the back and I connect everything to the carabiners before I even sit down. So everything is ready to go. And then once I'm sitting down in my seat, I go through everything again to make sure I didn't forget anything. Velcro, nothing is twisted. Now this is kind of what the video is all about is I think I may have done something incorrectly, even though I go through and I pre-check myself, pre-flight everything and make sure everything's good. Sometimes something happens. And what I want to do is I want to go through with you this pre-flight and me getting ready to go. Clear prop. 
So this is what I kind of want you to do, is watch this with me. As I am getting ready to take off, I do my pre-flights. Once again, it doesn't make any difference how many you do it. I like to do it a couple of times because once you commit to go, you are at the mercy of whatever the heck happens. Now, anytime that you see a little gap in the video, like that. Time has elapsed, and that was about 30 seconds warming up the engine going full throttle. Now look carefully. Watch what I am doing. I'm getting ready to do a forward lunge, and I go clear to pulleys, pulling the brake. I am going to adjust the strap on my throttle to make sure that it's secure. And I'm also going through my pre-check again, making sure that my brakes are clear to pulley. And you can kind of hear it in the background what I'm doing. Go ahead and listen. Now by this time, I have completely gone over my pre-flight again, but look at what's going on here. What is going on with my riser? There is not a riser twist. But something is not right. I, I can't tell what it is, but something's not right. Even when I'm trying to get my A's right now, there's just something off. Something's not right. I don't know what it is. Well, let me look. What I am trying to let you know as a newbie pilot is that you are the pilot. You can do whatever you want to. You do not have to launch if you do not feel 100% in the head. If you are tired, if you think that the lines are not right, whatever is not perfect, you can stop. So what I did is I disconnected my risers and I looked and everything looked good. I even pulled off the brake and double checked to make sure that my brake line was straight. And it was. Everything was great. Uh, the A's were on top. The wing is still laid out wonderful. So I reconnected and I went to the other side. See, I can stop anytime I want to. <sighs> fix whatever I need to fix and get back in. I'm not going to do anything stupid. No. We're going to get into the seat, but not before. Do not jump into your seat. Alright. Let's try it again. So I took five minutes out of my flying time, but look, the A's, everything lays out perfect. Everything's wonderful. I go forward, the wing goes perfectly overhead give it some throttle, and it's one of my best launches I've ever had. I flew around for about 30 minutes, had a wonderful time up in the air, and then something happened that I never experienced before. As I was coming in for a landing, as you can hear on this next clip, I try to kill the engine and it restarts. So we're already at about nine minutes on this video and I don't want to overwhelm you. So that's definitely a next time video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification because we're going to be doing that other video about what happens if very soon. See you then.